Okay. Well, first let me say how excited I am to be here and uh, getting to know you guys. And, uh, this is uh, you know, a great opportunity for me, as, as many of you guys realize, and you know, to be able to work under Coach Fisher and, and Coach Stoops is just a, a, a dream come true. And I'm very excited about getting started and looking forward to spring ball and actually uh, beginning our football uh, process. Hey, DJ, I'm Andrew Carter with Orlando Sentinel. Hi, Andrew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you kind of take us through the process that got you here? Well, um, I uh, was a player at Wyoming when Coach Stoops was playing there and then was a graduate assistant coach for him at uh, Wyoming, Houston, and Miami and uh, went on and, and coached at uh, Texas State, Tulsa, and Rice and um, interviewed here after his recommendation for the job with, uh, with Coach Fisher and, and uh, fortunate for me, Coach Fisher offered me a position and, and uh, that's how I got here. Pretty exciting opportunity on that. <laughs> to say the least, yeah. Very great opportunity for me to be able to work at you know, such a fine program as Florida State and with great coaches as well. Hey, Coach. I'm Derek Red with the Palm Beach Post. How much does it, how much does it help when you have that background with your coordinator and you can walk into this job, kind of knowing I don't know what to expect, but just kind of knowing that you know you you've, you've, you've worked with coaches before, so you you know what's come, going on when you come in. It helps quite a lot. Um, you know, the scheme I'm you know familiar with being with him at three different schools. But uh, I'm also very familiar with how he wants things done, how he wants the kids coached, you know, how, what he expects uh, in certain scenarios and certain situations. And uh, it, it's going to be very helpful uh, for me to have worked with him at those other spots in that, in that regard. What's kind of your philosophy for the ends position in coaching? Position? Well, um, you know, on defense, a lot of people say you're as good as you are on defense as you are at corner and defensive end. And that's because uh, if you can get after the quarterback and you can hold up one-on-one -on, -one on the edge with the corners, then you got a chance to be successful. So my philosophy is, is uh, we've got to be great pass rushers. Um, we're going to stop the run. We're going to you know, do what it takes to, to – to execute our assignments, but we're going to really emphasize being excellent pass rushers this spring and through into next year. You had time to look at what you had coming back. Well, you know, yeah, we have summer, or I should say, winter conditioning yeah. with the guys four days a week, so I get a chance to see them go through agilities and and run and do all that. And uh, I've got a, a decent evaluation of of how they move around. I uh, haven't seen uh, a lot of them actually play football besides on video, um, so. I have a pretty good evaluation of what I think they can do athletically, for sure. I know it's limited, but just what are your impressions so far of those guys? So, yeah. You know, uh, we've got some talent. Um, we've got some guys that, that have some good size and, and can change direction and, and uh, have shown me that they're willing to work and, um, you know, fight through uh, uh, some tough workouts, and, 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 and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with them. Gene Williams with Warchant.com. How you doing? Hey, Gene. Good. Um, I want to ask you, what did you realize you were first a candidate? Was it, did Coach Stoops actually contact you first and say, hey, I want to try to get you in here for an interview? Did Coach Fisher call you first? How did that happen? Well, Coach Stoops had let me know that he recommended me for an interview, but I didn't know how that process was going to play out. And then Coach Fisher um, had called me and told me that he was going to interview me. And uh, then we went from there. What was that interview like? Because Coach Fisher told us it was pretty – pretty impressed with you in the interview and hired you or offered you basically on the spot? Um, the interview was, uh, you know, a lot of questions about defensive end play, um, obviously, but we also went in depth about a lot of uh, schematic defensive play. And so he wanted to know, you know, in certain scenarios, what's the linebacker's job, what's the corner's job, what's the safety's job. And so I went through all that, um, what everybody does, and and um, so it was a combination of defensive end play and schematics for the most part. Thanks. Coach, Tim Linnefelt with the Osceola. Hey, Tim. Good to meet you. You too. Was, it, was this even on your radar, you know, a month, two months before you got the interview with Coach Fisher? Did, did coming to Florida State ever even register with you? 
Um, you know, this, like I said in the beginning, is a dream come true. You know, I'm very excited to work here. But I've always had a good relationship with, uh, with Coach Stoops. So, um, and I've always wanted to work with him again. So it became, it came on my radar when Coach Stoops was named the defensive coordinator. Chris um, can you talk about the guys that you have coming in at defensive end, the new incoming freshman? Sure. Um, you know, Born Warner, uh, the German, has uh, great size and, and great speed, which is one thing that um, that we're emphasizing with our guys that are here is to get bigger. We like to have good size there at the end. We're going to play um, some different techniques at defensive end where they're going to have to be more physical. Uh, in the run game, so size is going to be a, a critical issue there, and I think that uh, he, he's a prototype for that right now, the combination of size and speed that I'm looking for. And, uh, and right now, he's the only one we've got penciled in uh, to play defensive end. There's some other guys that we've looked at that may be defensive ends, but he's the only one that we've got penciled in to play defensive end. What's the ideal size for you, do you think? You know, ideal, we'd like them to be about 6'4", 250, you know. By, by the time they're playing. But if you've got a guy that's really fast and he's 225, you know, you're, you're, you're not going to not take him or not playing. Or if you've got a guy that's, you know, 270 pounds and maybe a step slower, but he can, he can handle the run game and get off blocks and make plays, you know, you're, you're not going to play him either. But I think the prototype is 6'4", 250 pounds and still be able to run. Coach Scott Kodak, I work here in the athletics department, Seminoles.com. Um, when you came to Florida State, I know you've been here a few months now. I mean, how's, how's the transition been? I mean, has there been any kind of like pleasant surprise you weren't expecting, like the community around it? I mean, just the, how's your transition been coming here? Transition has been great. I mean, everybody's been real welcoming. Um, you know, my wife and I are very excited about the community. We love Tallahassee. Um, we've been in the process of uh, getting involved. My kids are in school. And, um, you know, we found a home, so we've just moved into a home this week. So it's, it's been outstanding. And, and the people at Florida State and in the Tallahassee community have just been more than welcoming, like I said, and I'm very excited to be here in that regard as well. Paul Thomas with Assey Hey, Paul. Nice to meet you. Um, you're also the recruiting coordinator at Texas, and then there's a lot of guys in the staff that their backgrounds are they're known as good recruiters. Just what's it like being a part of staff that has so many guys that are real involved in the recruiting? It's excellent. Yeah, this is the best recruiting staff I've ever been associated with. Um, every coach on our staff is really good at recruiting and work really hard at it. And it's uh, it's kind of been a good gel of recruiters, you know, to, to to be together and to bounce ideas off each other and to help each other with other recruits. It's 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 really good and, and like uh, you know being a recruiting guy. You know, I was a recruiting coordinator, so that was my thing. It's uh, it's really good to be on a staff like this. Talk about that. You know, when you first joined the staff in January, and you guys had that you know, month where you guys were all recruiting. Just talk a little bit about the differences recruiting for Florida State versus you know, Rice or some of the other programs you've been in. Well, you know, you're, diff you're recruiting a different caliber of player from some of the other places I've been at. 